go ahead. Shalom, this is GMS Wisconsin with uh, another lesson on um, the downtown harbor in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Um, we here on Fifth, Ave Fifth Avenue, 54th Street. Um, the five represents the box net. And you have uh, five plus four, which is nine. You flip it upside down, that's six. So, and this is where they pulled the slaves in from uh, from the Underground Railroad to ship them upstate to Canada. Canada. And and I go to where the boats pull in there with that guy fishing that. He's still fishing that shit. And this, uh, this harbor floats in from Lake Michigan and it, uh, and it veers right into this river called Root River, which goes through, goes through the uh, Kenosha Yacht Club and the Coast Guard. And it goes up through Carthage College and up through uh, Racine in different parts in Wisconsin. It goes right up to Lake Superior to Canada. And there go your, uh, how you say, memorial? Municipal yeah. building? No, no, the uh, slavery thing, if you remember. Oh, the memorial. memorial. Yep. Yeah. Right, that's why they got the rays of light yeah. beaming down. And, uh, you know, get over here. We can start walking shit. So we can get this shit over with, and I'm tired of it. All right, so, so we gonna, we going to take y'all on the journey. And by the way, put it in post-production. Where we at as we walking, this is basically the outlet of a penis. Okay, we did the lesson on that with, through uh, Christopher Columbus. So basically, we walking up to the shaft. We walking on the, you know, man's ride, you know. That was a bunch of homosexuals, so. That's what we walking on right now. And I'm going to show the, you know, the map. We go to new houses, get new houses. Built them a little like fun for the uh, the musicians, the um the um musicians from play Hollywood, the playwriters, they all come down here the and they actors. you know right the actors. Right. They come down here and have their little amusements. They got the stage um behind these houses where they do the theaters and you know rehearsals for movies and stuff. They do all that in Wisconsin. That's where they sell all they uh. All they corn and so forth, they uh, open up one of these. Remember we down here and they did that? They opened up the whole in between. And they Farmers like, Month. Through the lesson now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then we came back, they like left. Like like one of the merchant uh, like Yeah, yeah. They showed them all those commercial goods. Everybody who had to call to you, sell their goods to the neighborhood, get to know each other, and to mingle. Yeah. They'll open up one of these whole blocks down here. You got the uh, Kenosha History Museum over there, yeah. next to the Yacht Club. Um, you have an old lighthouse. Then next to it, you have the water treatment plant where they flooded everybody's water. Yeah. 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 We got the uh, lighthouse down here at the end. Yep. And as you see it, you know, you see them rock penis over here in blue. <laughs> then they got the trolley that run all the way through. All the way up, all the way down. And then as you start to come, you start to see the lady over here that we're going to do. What's her name? The Bountiful, Bountiful Bitch. Bountiful Bitch. Which we're going to get into details with the Bountiful Bitch is about. And this is all new that they um, put put over here. Like this statue is new. Okay. Fake ass art. But, you know, it has another meaning to that. We got the uh, third degree on the water tower. Yep. They got the old boats that they, they never for Halloween. Big ass fighters. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
fuck yeah. So I just looked up the word bountiful. And it says, Lady Bountiful, a charitable but patronizing lady of a neighborhood. That's it. Okay. It says, uh, the bountiful bitch, the ingenuity of the American spirit was my original inspiration for Scripture. bountiful bitch. Let's read them all. Ezekiel um, chapter 22, verse 1. Ezekiel. This is what the uh, scriptures say spirit of America really is. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Now thou son of man, what thou judge? What thou judge the bloody city? Right, that's what we're doing. We have to fulfill that by speaking it first. Yea, thou shalt show her all her abominations. And that's why we put these lessons up and show you all what was done and what's around you to remember all these atrocities. Then say thou, thus saith the Lord Power, the city sheddeth blood in the midst of it. Yes, it did. Native Americans, blacks, and um, I can't think of blacks. Blacks, lands, and Native Americans, yeah. the slaughter of the, the nation of Israel. Man. That her time may come. And the time is come. That's why you see in these lessons. So the leech, y'all trembling. And maketh idols against herself. This is an idol right here. To defile herself. Yeah. Thou art become guilty in thy blood. Right, and how is you guilty? We the judges, and we have the evidence in front of us. Thou art become guilty in thy blood that thou hast said, and hast defiled thyself in my, thine idols which thou hast made. And thou hast caused thy days to draw near, and art come even unto thy years. Therefore have I made thee a reproach unto the heathen. That's why the elders even said this could be the last year right here. That's why they started to say that. Like this could be the last year right here. And a mocking to all countries. Right. That's why China and all the other nations are mocking you and saying that you can't keep your country under control. You can't pay your bills and you need to worry about yourself and not everybody else. And Russia say, who do you think you are the police and try to say what well, people can and can't do in their country. Those that be near and those that be far away, far from thee, so like you, shall mock thee, which are infamous and much vexed. Behold, the princes of Israel, every one were in thee to their power to shed blood. Right, and that's what you do. You give our people the power to uh, shed blood through the gangs. You set the gangs up, even before the gangs, but setting the gangs up. Because you can put some names on the gang leaders. Uh, Larry Hoover, David Boxdale. Walter Wee, Tukey, um, Tukey Williams, yeah, Stanley, uh, Tukey. Mickey Cogwell, yeah. all them devils. They were set up by the elite so, so um, to pollute the minds of the, the young Jake. And the young Jake still worship them. Exactly. Why do you think Mayweather had uh, uh, Rick, Ross. Rick, yeah, Ross. Rick Ross with him? Talking about, yeah, man, you the first hustler, and I respect your hustle and all that stupid ass shit. <clears throat> In thee have they set light by father and mother. In the midst of thee, have they dealt by oppression with the stranger? Indeed, have they vexed the fatherless and the widow? That was right, we the fatherless and the widow. Because you know, at the time when the Lord had turned his back on us, we became fatherless. So the, the um so that that's talk that was only talking to uh, Israel. So we became fatherless, which a lot of Jake now is fatherless. Going back to that they don't know who the Lord is. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And they did nothing but uh, hell and torment and um, racial, right, slavery, racial stereotypes, uh, he, uh, downgraded them, you know? Yeah. Thou hast despised my holy things mm -hmm. and hast profaned my Sabbaths. Right. And that's what they do now. They, they change the, uh, the times. Yeah. So they, they got us worshiping the so-called Sabbath on a Sunday. That's, that's we ain't even worshiping the Sabbath period. Right. We talking we about Thanksgiving, home. Easter, yep. New Year's. Birthday, Fourth of July, Christmas. Yep. That's what they got our people worship. That's why the Latin over there is so fat like she is. Because of all of those different holidays. Right. <laughs> right. Black Friday, Good Friday, all that shit. Fat Friday. Yeah. That's why our people walking around the state they in. Yep. And thee are men that carry tales to shed blood. Right. That's Abraham America. Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. What's the president they found all the bones in this house? Thomas uh, Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Jesse. Thomas Benjamin Jefferson. Franklin. They had, they, they had to stop even digging in the man house. Yep. Andrew Jackson, Christopher Columbus, 
and y'all exalt these people as good tales in this society yeah. through the history book. So you being on you being judged on all yeah. that. And that's um wicked and uh um witchcraft because they was writing the atrocities that they were doing. Yeah. They was writing they left that, it in their yeah, own they left memoirs. It in their note. Right. And you have it right in the Library of Congress. Yeah, yeah. And all y'all did was flip it. Y'all y'all got the people to worship them on a different level. You know, y'all worshiping on, on, on the, the good love. Right, right. right. Y'all worship them because love. the evil they did, and we worship them because the good that we thought they did. Right. That was perpetrated a lot. Right. Go ahead. And in thee, they eat upon the mountains. In the midst of thee, they commit lewdness. Mm -hmm. In thee, have they discovered their father's nakedness. In thee, have they humbled her that was set apart for pollution. And one has committed abomination with his neighbor's wife. And these are the acts that's going on in this country. He actually telling you that y'all basically all having sex with each other. Adultery. Adultery, right. Fornication. Incest. And another hath lewdly defiled his daughter-in-law. And another in thee hath humbled <clears throat> his sister. His and, and the Latins, they big into that and they keep that a secret. And the family know not to say anything. And they sit there and um, exalt the man says, that's my grandpa. Yeah. You know, he didn't know anybody, even though he didn't have sex with his daughter and father of a kid. That goes back to Caesar Bonjour also. I have a second, yeah. In thee have they taken gifts to shed blood. That yeah. was oh, taken right. take them payouts. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, what was the, when they set the Black Panther Party at? Bobby Seal and Huey Newton, you know? they was um, top, um, you know, uh, college students. You guys who they, you guys who, uh, who who work for the FBI and the CIA yeah. now, and try to infiltrate our camps and so forth. That has taken usury and increase. Right, that's the so-called white man. He take the usury and increase in his wealth and his life. Yeah, and he actually taught our people how to do it too. Right. Oh, you can become a stockbroker. Yeah. You become become a banker. Yeah, yeah. You can become a mortgage lender. See that you can set up your um what they call them little tables that they they have people set up um, at our vendors. um yeah yeah vendors. you can set up vendors when we have our um what they call that damn uh That's June team yeah. we have our June team right. Jake then be out there buying wholesale price things yeah. and selling to our people who triple the amount. Yeah. This um, going on the slavery note though, Rodrigo. I mean yeah, Rodrigo Borgia. He um, set up the decree that all the um, money and gold comes to Spain through Cristobal Colon. That's usual. Go ahead. And thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbors by extortion. Right, there you go. And hast forgotten me, saith the Lord Power. Behold, therefore I have smitten thine mine hand at thy dishonest gain which thou hast made. Right, we took on that, that basically that with those wicked acts that these so-called white people did. Yeah, we, going help, to, we help them the in their The smartest ones of us do it. Go to these universities and explore our own people instead of using the knowledge we have to come into, back to our communities and show them on how to even themselves. No, we go right into their jobs and their corporation and yeah. get them top jobs like, uh, like my cousin, uh, uh, what's the name? Bernard, Bernard, same thing. He's CEO of the whole Metro uh, Chicago. He the CEO. Yeah. But he have cousins and nephews walking right shit. around. He don't have jobs or nothing. Then when he had got his little brother a job, he made him get start from the bottom. He made him get the job. He had to clean the tracks. Yeah. And told him, oh, you got to work your way up. <laughs> and then that's, that's why every time he shit. see me, he wonder why we don't talk to each other. A spirit recognizes spirit, man. And at thy blood was fuck you. And at thy blood which thou hast been in the midst of thee. Yeah. Can thine heart endure? Or can thine heads be strong, hands be strong? In the days that I shall deal in the days that I shall deal with thee? Right. So when the Lord start to bring these um <clears throat> these disasters and all of these atrocities on this country, these people and the and the leaders of this people ain't gonna be able to stand up against it. That water spout. Right. This is what it was gonna hit. All it Show is. the water spout too. In post production. Uh -huh. Put the water spout. Next, because it was right out yeah, there. Right you got the, there. you got to come over here. If you come up here, you can see all the way out. It was right out there on the horizon. Yep, yep. That motherfucker would have came down here. It would have been over with. All this, we'd have been doing uh uh 
a GMS Wisconsin disaster report. Right, disaster right, report. Right, 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 right. A disaster report. Right, we would have been in the middle of this month. I would have put my garment on behind that one. Go ahead. Yeah, well, none of this should be here. I, the Lord, have spoken it and will do it. And I will scatter thee among the heathen and disperse thee in the country and will consume thy filthiness out of thee. And that's what's happening to America. He are dispersing them among the heathen, meaning they taking their jobs and moving overseas and living among the heathens. So now they can't do everything that they wanted to do. That's why all these crackers been moving over there to China and Japan and India and moving their kids over there and shit. So, aha, uh -huh, sucks to be you. Learn how to speak another language. Now they can't be all proud now. Yeah, right, right. You can't understand me? Right. Why you can't understand me? The Chinese motherfucker telling him, Tung Tong, stupid, Tung Tong. <laughs> no, I was just saying. You can't get this. Oh, they, they actually Chinese. got the, um, that's why, that's why they got the new gadget. You got to put this in post production. I know I'm doing a lot of things. Yeah, but they actually got the glasses that now they oh, can yeah. translate. Google Glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So they can, they can translate Glass. Chinese back into English. Yeah. It's all you got to do is look at anything. Any menu, anything, just look at it. It's right here. It translated right back to what English. What did they shut it off for first? Um, I don't know. I'm that damn cartoon, Robocop. Dragon Ball Z. Oh, damn. Oh, the so, scouters. The scouters. Yeah, yeah. They showed, they, yeah. And, and, they, and then they got glasses, not yeah, just with the just Google. They got the reading of the uh, your body emotions and shit. On the Dragon Ball Z and read your aura, your spirit, yeah, it did, it did, you sure at. did. But now sure they got did. whether it's hostile or not. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, telling yeah. them yeah. what yeah. they got today. That's called track wire, right? And uh, track wire is uh, is an RFID tracking system, which will be used by your drones, your uh, your security cameras, and your you know your security cameras on your light poles and on the stoplights to um, to read a person's body language, yep. so to identify a person. So yeah, I, yeah. yeah. And that's and that's all that's gonna be integrated into this Mark of the B system, which is right around the corner. That's it. Mm -hmm. And they also have that technology in your interactive iPhones and your Android and your cell phone technology that um, that we talked about earlier. Yeah. It says my vision was to represent the natural artistry, Mother Nature. Right. Now we're gonna hit on Mother Nature. So we basically we just destroying this uh, this um, idol with the scriptures. So they want to talk about Mother Nature, and you're going to get the scripture, you know, how our people is worshiping it is. What does the Lord think about Mother Nature? Yep. All right, um, this is Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 18, verse 17. Seest thou not what they do in the streets in the city of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle fire, and the women knitted their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven. Today is Mother's Day. That's why they do the same thing, make the cakes and so forth, take them to their mama yep. and all of that. And to pour out drink offerings unto their gods. Right, that's why they take them out to eat because your mother has become a goddess now in the family, the old wise wizard <laughs> and so forth. She go, you take you, you go get your mom and y'all go out to eat and y'all have drinks with her and so forth to yep. celebrate her that they may provoke me to anger. Right, the Lord ain't never said you're supposed to worship your mother. He said, honor thou mother, not worship. He said, honor thou mother and thou father. He never tell your ass to worship her. They don't understand that. But that's my mom. Right, honor, motherfucker, not worship. That's because when your mama go off, motherfucker, you're supposed to go off with her. Right. Do they provoke me to anger? Said the Most High? Yes, they do. Because yeah. you're not supposed to have no other God before the Lord. And the Lord is a jealous power. Do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? Right. And that's why our people don't know who they are today. Because yeah, they're running around worshiping these other gods and provoking the Most High to anger. And they're killing themselves spiritually, physically, and mentally. Yeah. Therefore, thus said the Lord, power. Behold, my anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place. And that's that destruction. Upon man and upon beast and upon the trees of the field. Yep, because right. everything in this land is the fire. And it's being destroyed <clears throat> with natural disasters. Earthquakes, hurricanes, flash floods, yep. fires, raging fires. Water stuff. That's why everything is being hit. Landslides, pits opening up. Yeah. yeah. Mudslides, yep. Sinkholes. Mm -hmm. And upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn. It shall not be cringe. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's those missiles. Yeah, that's what's ultimately coming. They get axe, 19, to kill all 20, this agriculture. <laughs> yep. It's Mother Nature worship. Yeah. And then they, they call it um, the Queen of Heaven, but then they got another name for it. It's called um, Queen Diana or Princess yeah. Diana. Statue of Liberty. Uh -huh. all that 1924. 1924. This is uh, Acts 1924. For a certain man named Demetrius, mm -hmm. a silversmith, which made silver shrines for Diana, brought no small gain unto the craftsmen, when he called together with the workmen of like occupation and said, Sirs, ye know that by this craft we have our wealth. Moreover, right, by, by the craft, they get their wealth off of making, you know, um, statues, statues and statues. emblems from this shit. And selling it to the people. Yeah. Moreover, you see and hear that not alone in Ephesus, but almost throughout all Asia. That's why at uh, Parkside, they got that college for, for you to do these things. And it's a career curriculum, and they tell you that it's much work in that field. So they still doing it. This Paul hath persuaded and turned away much people. Right, and that's why they don't be liking us, because when we start bringing these scriptures out, that you're not supposed to be doing these things, a lot of people are going to shy away. Saying that they be no gods which are made with hands. So that not only this, our craft is in danger to be set at naught. Right, so if the church is found out for us to show, tell them that that cross is means to uh, crucify and cross out Yahweh shot, then they won't be able to sell all these Israelites and these Latins and Puerto Ricans, all these crosses and all these emblems and all these standing altars of Mary, we all let it be done away. That'll cut into a lot of people's pocket. It says, but also that the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised. Right, and that's another thing. We'll tell them to hew they self out of them churches yep. and them coliseums and all of that. Yep. We'll tell them y'all can stop going to church. A couple of people got glad when I told them that. Like, I ain't gotta go for real? I'm like, hell no. Man, cause I was almost about to go, man. Thank you, man. Man, so I can just learn at home. Yes, yes. Thank you, man, thank you. I knew someone right with that goddamn church. Oh, I had that a whole bunch of times. Yeah, yeah. And her magnificence should be destroyed. Yeah, and that's what we doing. Yeah. Whom all Asia and the world worshiping. <laughs> Ooh. And the whole world is now today. Yeah. All of America. And when they heard these sayings, they were full of wrath. Right, just like these people today when we tell these people that that, that, that they the church. Yeah, right. That yeah. fuck the church and these and idols and idols. Pastor, and and your whole setup, your yeah. deacons and who is those on the deacons? The bishops. The bishops, and bishops yep. they yep. Get the evangelists and, and all ushers. of that. Yep. The ushers, yep. Yep. yep, Right. And cried out, saying, Great is Diana of F of of the Ephesians. Right. My church, I've been going there for three generations. My pastor <laughs> is the stuff. He a rock star. Right. Keep it real. Stupid ass phrase that they making up now. Smash up. He filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm. Yeah, yeah, the ghost. He's filled with the spirit. Right. He's filled with the phantom. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. And the whole city was filled with confusion. And having caught Gaius and Aristarchus, men of Macedonia, Paul's companions in travel. They rushed with one accord into the theater. And when Paul would have entered into, unto the people, the disciples suffered him not. Right, because he was still trying to go in that motherfucker. Right. So the disciples was like, get back, teach. get back. Yep. Get in there and see what's going on. Yeah. I'm like, no, this is starting to become overwhelming. <laughs> and certain of the chief of Asia, which were his friends, sent unto him, desiring him that he would not adventure himself into the theater. Right. Some, okay. okay. That's the point. Yep, yeah. It was causing the uproar. Yep. Yeah, that's what he was doing. Yep. I just want to read this real quick. This is Diana. This is Diana in the Bible. It says, The Roman goddess of the moon, identified with Artemis. Yeah, the Roman goddess of the moon. Yeah, just get her. So that's that's right. Right. Yeah. They say, The Roman goddess of the moon, identified with Artemis, her Greek counterpart, usually represented as a virgin hunter. Huntress, the Diana of Ephesians or Ephesus was a combination of the Greek Artemis and the Semitic goddess Asherath. Asherath, the what's the P word? Patroness. The patroness of the sexual in instinct. The patron means like a, like the 
mother or the, or the beginning. Mm -hmm. And that's, right. that's what you actually have on, on this guy. Because you got to go around and get uh, through it first. Because you got Satan in the world, right? The snake. The boy is right here. Yeah, who is that? Mola. That's what this god is. That's why you got Moloch Apis. right here. Yeah, yeah Apis, Apis the, the bull. bull. You got Dagon right Dagon. here. And then you got the Queen of Heaven. Yeah. So she the same thing. And you have Satan crawling on her arm, which all of this represents Satan. Yeah. Our images were not Nasibis. Our special worship was centered in Great Temple of Ephesus. Which we just read. Okay. Uh, it says, uh, my vision was to represent the natural artistry Mother Nature, the greatest artist of all, has lain before, before us. Like, wearing a blanket of fiber, a woman of nature and history, sits with outstretched hands, anchoring the peace. The coverlets wrap around her body and acts as a sanctuary for the earth's many gifts. Assets of the earth are nestled in its folds. Corn and vegetables, wildflowers and trees, yep, all of them. wheat and soil, yep. fruit and seeds, livestock and fish. Yep. Basically the worship of uh, the, the um, agriculture. agriculture yeah. This is um, Exodus chapter 20 verse 1. And the Most High spake all these words saying, I am the Lord thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that is in the earth beneath. And right. you know, this this uh, sculpture has the sun and the moon and the stars on it, which those are the uh, so-called gods in heaven that, that they worship. It says, or is in the earth beneath, which this is Dagon the fish god on the back. Or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Yeah. Okay, get that Deuteronomy. All right, this um, what is this? Now, go finish reading. It said, these gifts... That was like the 28 and 49 about the eagle. Did it say eagle yet? Yep. Did you read the eagle? Gotcha. Okay, go ahead and read it. And then get... Yeah, you. It says, these gifts portray all the essentials of life. In the chest she holds the sun, the moon, and the stars, representing the eve and flow of the climate, the heart of all growth and nourishment. All right. All right. Get that Revelation 2. Okay. That's what that goes Okay. Because the heart of all grow, uh, growing and nourishment, that's going into your um, the, the, um, the tree of life, of knowledge. That's what the Lord gave us. Go ahead. This is Revelation chapter 22, verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life. Mm -hmm. Plural is crystal. That was the knowledge, and then that was the um, Jordan River. Proceeding out of the throne of the Most High and of the land. Uh -huh. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, yeah. which bare 12 manner of fruits. Right, 12 manner of fruits would be the zodiac signs, or also the, um, the 12 tribes of Israel which gave the fruits for the different months. That's why, you know, we do the whole, um, our, high, our high holy days and all that stuff, because the different days of the month. And yielded her fruit every month, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Yep, that's what it was for, okay? And it wasn't to worship the um, everything that's underneath the, um, the ground, which that's what Esau flips and, you know, worships. Go ahead. And there shall be no more curse, it says strong waters of chains pour down through her hair a baby eagle nests at the base of the of the peace symbolizing hope and renewal and the description on that that's in Deuteronomy 28 Deuteronomy 28 49 Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flight. Right, that, that eagle. That's their emblem. That's their sign. That's why it's at the base. Go ahead. The base meaning your foundation. 
a nation woe's tongue thou shalt not understand. English and Spanish. Portugal and, um, and Creole. Go ahead. A nation of fierce countenance. Right, so there's one nothing good for the Israelites. Which shall not regard the persons of the old or shoot favor to the young. Yeah, that's through slavery. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It says, a baby eagle nests at the base of the peace, symbolizing hope and renewal. In contrast, mighty feathers gracefully canopy the summit of the bountiful blanket, representing enduring strength. Right. Now, the summit means your peak. That's why the eagle's at the peak and the eagle's at the base. Is this what makes them who they are? <laughs> Yeah, that was it. Okay, now we're gonna get into get the um, Dagon out of this. Now we just finna, you know, destroy the, the images of Dagon, the fish god. To get um, Judges 16 to 21. And then, um, Yashar, you can get um, 1 Samuel 5 and 1 and something. This is Judges chapter 16, verse 21. That's really straight. It says, but the Philistines, the African, took him and put out of put out his eyes. This is talking about Samson. And brought him down to Gaza and bound him with fetters of brass. And he did grind iron the, shackles. And he did grind in the prison house. He did work. Judges. Howbeit the hair of his head began to grow again after he was shaven. Right. Yeah, hey, you ass in jail, what's the first thing happened? Your motherfucking hair started going if you haven't been there before. Then the lords of the Philistines gathered them together for to offer a great sacrifice unto Dagon their power. Right, so this is the African um, deity. And to rejoice, for they said, Our God had delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hand. Right, so the African's enemies are Israelites. And when the people saw him, they praised their God. For they said, Our God had delivered into our hands our enemy, and the destroyer of our country, which slew many of us. And it came to pass when their hearts were merry that they said, call for Samson, and he may make us sport. And they called for Samson out of the prison house, and he made them sport. And they set him between the pillars. And Samson said unto the lad that held him by the hand, suffer me that I may peel the pillars whereupon the house standeth, that I may lean upon them. Now the house was full of men and women, Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The point okay. is what they got is. Because it just tells you where he yeah. destroys it. First Samuel 5 and 17. I mean, 5 and 1 through 17. 1 through 7. Yeah, 1 through 1 7. 7. So I can, sorry. First Sam Samuel. 10 and 18. First Samuel, first Samuel chapter 5 verse 1. And the Philistines the took Africans. the Ark of the Covenant and brought it from the Ebe Eb Ebenezer unto Ashdod. When the Philistines took the Ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon and set it by Dagon. And when they of Ashdod arose early on tomorrow, behold, Dagon was falling upon his face to the earth before the Ark of the Lord. Right, so this is how, you know, these other deities, Dagon, stacked up against the Lord. And they took Dagon and set him in his place again. Looks like he ain't last too long. And when they arose early on the morrow morning, behold, Dagon was falling upon his face to the ground before the Ark of the Most High and the head of Dagon and both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the threshold. So the Lord destroyed that idol. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him. Yeah, that's it. Oh, whatever. Yeah, that was uh, verse four. Other symbols of Dagon would be um, the Pope's hat or the cancer uh, sticker yeah. that the people have in the car. Yeah, I should flash that in post production. Try to get a lot of their symbols because dude had it on his arm yesterday when we brought it out. Mm -hmm. This is First uh, Maccabees chapter ten, verse eighty-three. The horsemen also, being scattered in, in the field, fled to Azotus, which Azotus is Ashdod, 
and went into Beth, Dag Beth Dagon, their idol's temple, for safety. But Jonathan set fire on Azotus and the cities round about it and took their spoils and the temple of Dagon with them that were fled into it, he burned with fire. Right, so basically we burning this with fire. The fire is the book. So he did it physically and we doing it by destroying the image with the Bible. The Lord said, earn my words like fire. Yep. Mm -hmm. Breaking down the truth behind the side of worship. That's it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, brother. All right, um, First Chronicles chapter 10, verse 10. And they put his armor in the house of their gods and fastened his head in the temple of Dagon. And when all the Jeshpagiliad heard all that the Philistines had done to Saul, they arose all the valiant, yeah, valiant. Yeah. valiant. Yeah, I mean all the warriors, yeah. said, what the, what? man, we ain't on in that. Right, he rose all the valiant men and took away the body of Saul. Right, and don't think they went in there asking for it. They went in there with force. Because when you got an overwhelming group of us come, they going to give up whoever they got of ours. Just like you can, well, not anything. And the, and the bodies of his sons and brought them to Jes Jabesh and buried their bones under the oak in Jabesh and fasted seven days. Okay, that's it on Dagon. Now we got this Leviticus 18 and 21 from Molech. I think that's the bull? Yeah, the bull, yeah. Huh? Which is also uh, the owl. The owl, yeah. the owl and the bull is the same thing. This that's is Bohemian Grove. They got the Yeah, Molech that's on the dollar. Show him on the dollar, too. Because he can be either or. They got the apis the bull on Wall Street. Yeah. Yep, yep. This is uh, Leviticus chapter 18, verse 21. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech. Neither shalt thou profane the name of thy power. I am the Lord. Yeah, so just talking to you uh, pastors out there who sold out for that American money and uh, profane the Lord's name. Yeah. No, it ain't Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ. Y'all sold out for that money. Yeah. Um, I think that that's, that's it. Like passing through the fire is worshiping them, them philosophers. That was yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, because you pass your kids through the fire yeah. when you take the truth and you shun it. Just yeah. name them, yo. That's why you got Easter Daniel Sunday. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The it's history. The history. Oh, we're supposed to bring it out. But go ahead. You can stay over here. Okay. Daniel 2, 20 to 23. I got it. Flames lowest. Alright, um, this is Daniel chapter 2, verse 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the most high forever and the ever. Shot, so we ain't profaning it. For wisdom and might are his. Right. That's where y'all, you know, try to say, oh, you know, them guys are smart and so forth. No, the wisdom and the might is his. That's right. That's why we give praises to Yahweh Shah. And he changes the times and the seasons. Right, he changes the times. So the crackers thought that they was going to be able to keep us in derision all generation, generation, generation. But he changing the times and because he changes the seasons. That's why we always ask people, what time is you living in? Yahweh Shah changed that time. He removed kings and set up kings. Right, so the white man is rulership. He ain't kingship uh, spot. He finna be taken down and we finna be put up. That's right. That's why I told uh, a couple of Edomites, you might as well get, well, I said it yesterday too. We're gonna be on the money. It's gonna be gold. And it's gonna be man with beards and big old afros. Yeah. He give wisdom unto the wise. Yeah, he give the wisdom unto the wise, the elect, the chosen. The servants, the prophets, the messengers, the angels. Yeah. That's all us in one. Yeah, not to no woman through no agriculture. No, ain't no woman getting nothing. <laughs> she only gonna make it on the ship because of us. And knowledge to them that no understand it. Mm, right. Yes, How far down are you going? Yeah, to 23. Okay. And then jump to 32. Yeah. Okay. He be he, verse 22. 
He revealed the deep and the secret things. Hmm. Yeah, that's why we out here breaking this down. Yeah, because the average Jake don't know what the hell this is about. They think it's cool, it's nice, it's fancy, a new statue. Right. But it's don't true. know that that's pushing a vibration on you. Yeah. For you to go slick your, slick your wrist. For you to yeah. bow yeah. down to the woman. Bow down to the woman. Right. Yes. To the and to, and, and to this America. Mm -hmm. The woman. No, I'm about to say this American society. The woman. The woman. <laughs> You're right. Sucker bus. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. He knoweth what is in the darkness. Yep. And the light dwelleth with him. Right, so he gave us the light and we shined it right on this statue. That's right. And on this whole harbor. What was going on, basically what we did is we took y'all through time. We actually just brung y'all through time and what was going on and showed y'all the photos and picture from that guy Ruben Deming to all the way down here because you would never believe that that was going on right here on this beautiful downtown harbor of Kenosha. <laughs> Southport. Right. That's it, 32? Just 32. No, I was on 22. I was yeah, on. go ahead. Just go for two minutes. Okay. Verse 23, say, I thank thee. Yeah, yeah. I thank thee and praise thee, O thou power mm. of my fathers. Uh, are these our forefathers in here that wrote this? Who have given me wisdom and might. Yeah. yeah. Daniel is one of our forefathers too. Yeah. That's right. And has made known unto me now what we desire of thee. Yeah. So now we give praises because now we know what Yahweh Shah desire of us as Israelite men. That's right. When before we was lost trying to find our own way. For thou has now made known unto us the king matter. Right, so now we know what old Barack Hussein, Obama, Bush, Clinton, uh, Roosevelt. Yeah, um, Teddy. Yeah, Obama. Teddy Teddy Roosevelt. Uh, Jimmy Carter. Rob Jimmy Charles, Carter. Rob all of the Rob presidents that's, that was before us. What was the overall agenda and why the man was doing what they was doing in their terms? Yeah. Now we understand, because we at the end, what was all that about? about yeah. What was America really founded and established on? Why was we even placed there? <laughs> yeah. You said jump to the... 32? 32. 32. Okay, All right. All right, this is Daniel chapter 2, verse 32. <coughs> the, the image's head was of fine gold, his breast and his arms of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass. Right, and that's the whole history of mankind. 4,000 years, that's it. Now I'll jump to uh, Daniel 7. We have 44, 44, 44 take that. I did. <laughs> 44, we have 44, 32, then 44. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got it in Daniel. You got to take that. Yeah. All right. I got one page, it's not a man. Yeah. Oh, man no. This is Daniel chapter 2, verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the most high of heaven set up a kingdom, mm -hmm. which shall never be destroyed. All right, that's, that's, go ahead. All right, that's our kingdom. Okay, that's good. That's Yahweh Shai's kingdom that he promised so, uh, Solomon. Going to Yahweh Shai, and then we going to be heir, heirs with the kingdom. Joint heirs. Yeah. Joint heirs. That's the one third elect. Which shall never be destroyed. Huh. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. Right, right. we ain't finna share we this kingdom with no fucking Edomites, well, man. We ain't finna be no all these nations coal right. coalition. No, you in, in, one in the kingdom of heaven. Rainbow right. of love. Mm -hmm. That's why the scriptures say how vain it's salvation hope for from the hills, man. Yeah. These other nations ain't getting no next spot after this is over with. It's, right. our, it's our time right. to shine. Right, right. already here. Why do right. the heathens rage and imagine the vain thing? Right, this ain't gonna be no more melting pot, motherfucker. It's over with. <laughs> but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, yeah. and it shall stand forever. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Okay, now seven and one. This is yeah. Daniel. To ten. We gonna read the whole thing. Okay. No, yes, we is. Go ahead. We ain't breaking this down. If you don't know this breakdown, shame on you. This is Daniel 7, chapter 7, verse 1. In the first year of ba Belshazzar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head upon his head, uh, upon his bed. Then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of heaven strove upon the great sea, <clears throat> and four great beasts came up upon the sea, diverse one from another. The first was like a lion. Right, and that's that's all we gonna give y'all. That's 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 mankind history, from the ancient kingdoms all the way back to today. And you first have to uh, wait for another installment to get that. <laughs> or really, you supposed to know that by now. As far as we didn't came, you must be one of them stragglers. Right. Mm -hmm. 
that's good, y'all. With that, okay. Um, Barack Atayahawa. Barack Atayahawa. Barack Atayahawa. Barack Atayahawa. Barack Atayahawa. Mawath. Mawath. La. La. Babal. Babal. Arar. Arar. Hamalakwath. Hamalakwath. Shaw. Shaw. Idawam. Idawam. Mawath. Mawath. La. La. Ha. Ha. Khal. Khal. Shaw. Shaw. Yasharala. Yasharala. Babkusha. 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 Tawada. Tawada. Amen. Amen. Double honors to the elders. Double honors to the elders. Shalom. Shalom.